Hi there, hope you are doing great today. Today I want to show you how to translate automatically 100% of your Drupal website using our PHP and JavaScript script. We'll be using our tool, Linguize, which is a software as a service, or SaaS. This means that the translation tool will be directly connected to your website, and it will detect any new content that is added or updated, and a new translation will be available instantly. And the best part? This whole process can be done quickly using a high-quality neural machine translation tool. This type of tool is automatic, but it still delivers high-quality translations thanks to its use of translation models and optimization we've made on the HTML parsing. If you are keen to learn more, be sure to check out our website. So, what are we going to cover today? First, we'll show you how to create a new account and domain to get your translation API key. Next, we'll upload and configure it on Drupal. After that, we'll set up the website URLs for translation and the language switcher. And finally, I'll demonstrate how you can edit the translations right from your Drupal's front end. Note that the Lingice team offers a free installation on your website, you have a link on the homepage of the official website. We'll also visit the Lingice dashboard, advanced settings, and the service prices, of course. Let's get started. In the first sequence we'll create an account, or you can register a new one. Lingize offers a one-month free trial for every new domain registered with up to 600,000 translated words. On each account, you can add several domains, but each domain will require a separated membership. That's still pretty interesting because the automatic translation is basically 90% less expensive than a pure human translation. So, we'll use it to translate our Drupal demo website. Here I'll add the domain of the website I want to translate. The registration of the domain is required because at the end I will get a key I'll copy in the Lingai script configuration file to activate the website translation. After that, I can select my website CMS platform, here that's Drupal. Then I'll select my original and target translated languages. Let's add one or two more language here, for the example. Currently, there are 84 languages available. Okay, it's done, and when I save the configuration, I have the instruction to install the script on Drupal and copy the API key. This is what I'm going to do in the next sequence. My domain registration is done on Lingai's side. Now I'm going to download the Lingai's PHP and JavaScript archive. The script can be used for any CMS that uses PHP, including Drupal. Here it is, after you'll need to unzip it. My Lingai's folder is already here. Whatever CMS you are using, you'll need to upload this script to the root folder where your CMS is installed on your server. This is usually obvious, but it is worth mentioning. You'll find the link to download the script in the description of this video on YouTube. To upload the script, you can use either an FTP client like FileZilla, or a server file browser from your hosting company, like here. So, I've uploaded the script here in my Drupal root install folder. Now the next step is to copy the API key in the configuration file that is in the Lingice folder. Here I have the configuration file Drupal and I can locate on this line of text, replace the token by the one found in your Lingice dashboard. And this is what I'm going to do, I'm going back to my dashboard and in the settings of the domain. Now I need to copy the key, paste it in my configuration file and save it. Okay, that's the first step on the Drupal side, now let's configure the htaccess file and the multilingual URL rewriting. In this sequence, we'll edit the htaccess to generate proper multilingual URLs, for example slash ES will be the URL prefix for all my Spanish pages in Drupal. This step and the configuration are a bit technical, so just a reminder if you think you can't handle that, you can contact us directly for a free installation. I'll make sure to add the link to the form in the video description. The HT access code to copy is in the Lingice documentation and may vary depending on the type of server you have. For example, an Apache server is different from a Windows or a Jinx server. This code will load the proper URL per language with the language tag inside. 
Okay, let's copy this code onto my Drupal installation. I'll open my HT access from the hosting file browser and paste it. All right, my HT access code has been copied here. Now that my multilingual URLs are set up, the website translation is already active. What's missing is adding the script link to load the language switcher. Basically, a language switcher is composed of a country flag and a language name. It's like loading any external script like Google Analytics. The most important thing to remember is that it needs to be loaded on all your pages. The link to the Lindai script to add to Drupal is available in the dashboard after the domain activation. Here on Drupal I'm going to copy the script URL from the Lindai's dashboard and add it here. Configuration Development and add to head The Lindai script is here in setup to be loaded on every page. Note that you can use any method of your choice to include the script, at the end it needs to be loaded in pages header. Alright, let's see my language switcher now on my website frontend. See, it's loaded here as a pop-up with the flags and the language names. Of course, I can change any page language. Let's jump to the next sequence with the language switcher design configuration. In the Lindai's dashboard you can set up the language switcher display, the flags, language names. To access the setup use the settings menu, then language flags display. On the right part you have the current configuration preview, like it will appear on your website frontend. You can see the language with flags comes with three display layouts options. Side-by-side -side displays all the flags and language names one after another. The side-by-side -side layout is pretty convenient if you have a small number of languages on your domain. Let's test another one. Then you have the drop-down. Okay, looks like a menu. Finally, there's a pop-up option. I think it's better in my case because I have numerous languages. Let's scroll down and check the advanced plugin options. There are many options, among them, we can see the possibility to use alternate flags per language, color, border, mouse hover options, etc. I see this as mainly an option to adapt the front end rendering to your Drupal design. For the example, I'll change from pop up to drop down. And let's say use squared flags. Save and it's done. The new layout is instantly applied to Drupal, see. Now that you've seen how easy it was to make this automatic translation, I'll show you how to edit those translations from the website frontend. Before jumping to the conclusion, I want to quickly show you an overview of the Lingai's features. For that, I'm going back to my Lingai's dashboard. I can check some usage statistics. It's not as powerful as Google Analytics, but it gives an idea quickly what languages are the most used. As you can see, there are many tools here. The most important to me is the the front-end translation editor. Here it's called Live Editor currently. Let's click on it and select a language. I'll pick French here and loading it. Okay, I have the Drupal website open in French, but with the translation tool loaded in the top right corner. If I open it, I see three buttons, the computer that is the navigation mode to navigate and translate another page. The addition mode, the pen, the one we'll use it now. And the code icon to edit meta information such as translated page title for search engine. You can edit anything you want on your page, that's really easy. Everything includes text, image links, all your Drupal HTML font and content in fact. I would like to edit a menu, this one for example, I just click here. Edit and save it and it's applied all over my website, it's as easy as that. Let's go back to the dashboard now. After the statistics, you have a part called rules. We have dedicated videos for this part, but basically that's a powerful tool where you can add translation rules that apply all over your website at certain conditions. For example, it's possible to exclude a text from translation here, or to replace a translation by a custom text. 
I can also exclude part of my website from translation using URL or HTML selector. All those rules have their own options to target the content you want. Now what do I see on the dashboard other than rules, I can also see my translations as a list here and play with filters and edit them. That's a possibility. There is also the URL translation list, same as the translation listing but only for the URL. And you'll find the translations of the links and the images. Finally, I have the settings, this is where my domain is set up. Note that I can add a language anytime I want, this is the advantage of using a SAS. Now let's jump into the conclusion. As a conclusion, I would like to show you the pricing model. This is based on the translation volume. It goes from 200,000 words to unlimited and from $15 up to $45 per month. This is less expensive with a yearly subscription, and you have one month free per domain. The main advantage of using Lingai's translation tool is that the quality is pretty good considering it's 90% less expensive than a manual translation. Also, new content is always instantly translated and SEO friendly. So, that's also great for business because Drupal is often used on large websites in terms of content volume. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you're watching this video from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay informed about new features and ask us any question using the comments. And of course, you'll find all the useful links we've talked about in the description. See you soon for another video, bye for now.